Hello everyone, today we are going to see how you can create an event registration form or a feedback form using Google Forms in less than 5 minutes. Let's start the video. Open Google and type Google Forms. Choose the first option Google Forms free online service for personal use. Click it, it will take you to a page where you have two options personal or business. Choose personal and click on go to Google Forms. That will take you to the Google Forms page. But Google will ask you to sign into your Gmail account and now I'm signing in. I'm signing in and going to the Google Forms page. That is another method which I'm going to show you now. You can open your Gmail account and go and click on the Google Apps button at the corner and choose Google Drive. If you click on Google Drive, that will open your Google Drive account. On the left side, you can find an option called New. Click it and you will see some options. Go to the bottom, choose More and in that mode choose Google Forms. Click it and that will also take you to Google Forms. So this is up to you to choose which method is suitable. You can either use Gmail account or directly search through Google. But still, in both the ways you must sign into your Gmail account. Don't forget that. Now we'll see the form. On the left top corner you can see the title of the form. Right now it is untitled because we didn't give any title to that. Now I'm giving it a title called YouTube form because I'm doing this for YouTube purpose and once you give the title there the title inside the form automatically changes and below that that is the small description line where you can give description about the purpose of creating this form here I'm giving some random purpose Google forms has an automatic saving system I just want to show you how this savings takes place now we can see on the top of the page that is a notification which shows that all changes saved in drive so technically you need not to save anything you do in google forms it automatically saves inside now we'll see how we can create questions now see this portion below the title and description that is the place where you have to type your questions opposite to the question that is a box that is the place where you have to choose the type of response you expect from the respondents at the bottom of the question box you will see three different options duplicate delete and required see the options one by one the first option duplicate helps you to duplicate the previous question as it is that is with the question as well as the type of answer you chosen and also the options however you can modify the question as well as the option according to your requirement to delete a question from the form simply click on the delete option at the bottom of the question another way of adding question is clicking on the plus sign on the right side of the question box if you click on the box it will give you a new question which is different from duplicating in duplicating you will be copying the previous question but when you click on the plus sign you will get a new question which will be helpful when your previous question style is different from your next question style because you can change the options according to the questions you want to ask I'm going to add few more questions to complete my form once I finished typing all the questions I'm going to show you another feature of Google Forms at the bottom firstly we saw three options that is duplicating deleting and required option required option will be very useful when you want your respondents to definitely answer a particular question from the form we may not always require all the questions to be answered but few questions we would definitely need in order to make a question required you have to click on the question box and click on the required button when the button turns blue which means that the respondents will not be able to move to the next question without answering the question which you made required once you make a question required a red color star will appear beside the question which will help you to know whether you have made all the questions which you find required marked as required now here I'm leaving one question as not required and you can see there is no red symbol beside that question apart from that all the other questions have that red symbol now we'll see the preview of the questionnaire before sending it to our respondents if we click on the i option at the top of the questionnaire you will be able to see the preview of the questionnaire this is how it will be displayed to your respondents when you send the form for response if you want to make any changes in the form you can do it by simply clicking on the edit option at the right side bottom if you click it it will take you to the form there you can make enough changes you want if you are satisfied with the questionnaire now we are ready to send it 
You can do it by simply clicking on the send button at the top. When you click it, a window appears. There you have an option to send it through email. Put the title of the form in the subject area and also to include the form in the mail itself by clicking on the box given there. If you click on the box inside in the mail, the respondents will be able to answer the form in their mail itself. If you do not know the respondents mail address, you can simply click on the second option which will give you a link. This link you can forward to those whose mail IDs are not available with you. If you think the link is too long, you can click on the button below it which will shorten the URL for you. You can now copy the URL and send it through other messaging apps like WhatsApp or Telegram. This will enable them to answer your forms even without need of a mail ID. That's it. This is how you create any form in Google Forms whether it is a registration form or a feedback form. If you're here just to know about the creation of a form, that's it, you are done. But if you want to know how the responses are recorded from the forms you send, you must keep watching. One more thing, I told you in the beginning that Google Forms automatically saves everything you do in the form. Here you can see the form I created is automatically saved into my Drive account. So this makes it easier for us to create new and more forms in Google Forms. We'll now see how Google Forms collect the responses of the respondents through the form which we sent. I am going to open the form which we created just now and I'm going to record my response. You can see at the top the questions we made required are highlighted in red. This will act as a, a guidance for the respondents to answer the questions which are marked in red. Now I'm going to quickly fill up the form and I'm going to submit my response. I want to show you the question which I didn't mark in red is not a compulsory question for the respondents to answer so I'm going to skip it and I'm going to submit the form you can see that I have submitted a form even without filling a question inside the form because it was not marked in red now I'm going to open the form through my drive and see how the responses are recorded you can see there is one response record that is the response which I gave only. Google Forms automatically classifies the respondents responses according to the responses they choose. So this is how the responses in forms are recorded. This will definitely be helpful to find out the different options chosen by the respondents. So that's all for today and I hope you all like this tutorial on Google Forms. Google Forms have so many features inside it. There are many options. You can change the themes, you can change the type of questions, you can create sections. There are many things inside but I'll be explaining all of them in the upcoming videos. Do like the video if you like it and subscribe to my channel for further updates and please share it with your friends and colleagues. Thank you so much for watching.